Hey, Garrett Brill here. I'm out here with a few pilots. Some of them you may know. Uh, Don from P-CERT and Midlothian PD. Um, and also, you might know Gage, uh, also P-CERT and Joshua Fire. Anyway, we're out here doing some testing. We're testing with the new uh, Autel Evo 2 Dual over here. But we're wanting to do a shootout on this thing. So we're going to do kind of an extended shootout over several different tests. And on this one, we had a lot of people wanting to know about the zoom and what the zoom capabilities are in this. So what we have is here we have the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual. Here we have the Mavic 2 Enterprise, otherwise known as Mavic 2 Enterprise Zoom. We have the Autel Evo 2 Dual. And here we have the M210 with the X-T2. All right. Now the object is, is in here, right, uh, leaned up against this uh, truck, we have a uh, the fire department dummy, um, the, the, the drag dummy, and we put a radio in his hand. Now the idea is can we zoom in and identify that radio? Um, in this case we're all 70 feet up and 100 feet away from the object. We took off right next to it and we're going to see and then if we can, all, we can see it we'll, we'll start eliminating these which when we can't and then we'll move back and try again. So anyway we're going to try to make this test as quick as possible. Um, in this case now this is the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual and unfortunately it does not have any zoom whatsoever. Um, so, and of course we cannot see at all what's in the dummy's hand. And so on this first round, um, that one's gonna be eliminated from this test. Uh, if one of y'all wants to go ahead and take it up and take and land that one. Okay, so the next one is going to be, this is the Mavic 2 Enterprise, also known as the Mavic 2 Enterprise uh, zoom and I have it on the maximum capability of zoom which is whenever you have it in video mode and we're gonna zoom in and I don't know how well you can see it but I can clearly identify that as a radio I don't know how well it'll show up in this camera but I'm just gonna tell you looking with my eyes I can identify that as a radio and not any other object all right so we'll go ahead and leave that one there and, and we'll zoom out Zoom back out real quick. All right. So the next one we will come over to is the uh, Auto Evo 2 Dual. All right. So let's go ahead and pop this up. And now instead of having to zoom in, this is a digital zoom, but let's just go ahead and get in there. And I can clearly identify that. That's all the way in 8X. I can clearly identify that as a radio um, just as clear as the other one all right so let's go over here the last one is going to be the this is the m210 with the xt2 and we're going to zoom in let me move over here and that's 8x on that and i cannot identify that as anything that thing actually looks like a black bowling pin on this at a hundred feet up and 70 feet out let me go ahead and zoom out and zoom back in zoom back in zoom back in all right and uh, as you can see there's there's the distance from it and there it is so we're gonna go ahead and eliminate the m210 uh, with the X-T2. Um, looks like it's about time to do that with that display anyway, uh, but we cannot clearly identify that. All right, so let's go ahead and, so if someone wants to take that one, go ahead and land it, please. Okay, so let's go ahead and move this one out. So right now we're, again, we are at uh, 70 feet up and 100 feet out. So let's go ahead and move this. Are y'all clear? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and move this one back. Let's go ahead and just to kind of shorten this test, let's go back to let's go back to 100, 150 feet, 70 feet up, 150 feet out. Let's uh, bring this in. All right, and let's uh, 
go ahead and let me start zooming this thing in. Okay, so there it is, max zoom. And you know, I'm gonna say that I could, but just barely. So this would be the maximum distance, probably 150 feet would be the maximum distance. If, if, if I went out to 175, it would probably start looking like that bowling pin again. So that's probably it for the Mavic 2 Enterprise with the zoom capability, all right? All right, so someone wants to go ahead and land that one. So with this one, we're gonna do the same thing. Again, uh, right now we are 70 feet up and 100 feet out. Let me know when y'all are clear. All right. Okay, so oop, get it back in place here. Sorry. Sorry for the delay. Let's move this one back. 35, 40, all right, 151 feet. We go ahead and move the gimbal up on this one. All right, and then let's just go in, and we're getting in a kind of a low light condition now too, just so you know. And there we go. You know that uh, I can barely identify it. I can see the little screen there, and I can see the speaker. But this is about the same as what I see with the Mavic 2 Enterprise. Um, very, very, very close. This one may be slightly more, I mean, I mean slightly, I mean very, very, very slightly more pixelated, but I can still see the screen and the speaker uh, on the radio. So again, this one would be is about the about the same in the aspect that this would be the maximum range. So um, I'm definitely gonna call this one a tie or a close tie between the identification capabilities between the, the two winners, equal winners will be, uh, and a score of five will be the Mavic 2 Enterprise and the Autel Evo 2 Dual on the zoom capability. Um, but it is important to note also that, that the Dual has both thermal and optical capability. So that digital zoom on this thing uh, is really nice. And of course, that's what we wanted to see if we get that capability along with the thermal. All right. Hopefully this is informative and we'll talk to you later. Bye.